Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. We are here with the family, and I have a quick announcement to make. This is Island Paradise. I have totally lost where this LP was supposed to go. So, we are going to really get back into focusing on scuba diving and houseboats and all of the good stuff that comes with Island Paradise because I've kind of ventured off of that and I need to venture back to it. It's nice that we had kids and all to keep the generations going. That's great, and I'm happy I did it. But I'm also upset that I haven't really been focusing on the Island Paradise aspect of, like, the houseboats, the mermaids. We don't have any mermaids. So I'm thinking one of the kids is going to mer marry a mermaid or become a mermaid. Or we might make Harley a mermaid because he needs to do the Grand Explorer. Now, I have some ideas for him as well, and I know what he's going to be doing. Uh, Percy, I was going to let, or Persephone, I was going to let her go ahead and quit her job. But then I realized I already switched her lifetime wish to the world-renowned surgeon. So it wouldn't really make sense. So she's going to stay as the, the doctor of the household, which she's almost a level 9. So she'll be done pretty soon, and then I'll let her quit her job or retire, or whatever she needs to do. Probably retire because she's getting pretty old. Also, this is the problem. Five days until he's an elder? Not really liking that idea. So, what I may do, and I know this is semi-cheating, is I may roll back their ages a little bit because their husbands and wife are so much younger than they are, it's unreal. So, what I was thinking was giving each one of these guys probably 10 days and leaving Har or Kenny at 16 and Ginny at 17 which would make them a little bit closer in age. But then I thought, well, maybe not. I don't know. So we'll have to figure it out. But today we're going to be focusing on the island paradise aspect of this. And hopefully we're going to be able to get some things done that we need to do. Now I do know something that we're going to be doing with Harley today. I have him planned. He's pretty much going to be our main focus today. Ginny, uh, sh hopefully she's going to get some more work done because I'm starting to feel like she's never going to go back to work. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's how I'm starting to feel. And Kenny, hopefully he's able to get his um, lifetime wish because he needs to get about 34,000 more. Well, l like 33,000 something more. Almost 34,000. And Ginny still needs to save uh, 48 people. So remember that their lifetime wishes got reset. That's why that we're so far behind. But other than that... Everyone's in bed, so I'm going to go ahead and cut back out here, and I'll be back in the morning once everyone's getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Okay, so it looks like Ginny's actually already getting up now, and I'm going to get her in here to the bathroom. She's going to go ahead and take care of the needs that she has, and then we're going to get her out, and we're going to get her to do some things that she needs to do. All right, go ahead and eat the lemon pancakes. I pretty much have everyone going to the bathroom, taking a shower, and then eating the pancakes. Uh, he doesn't really need anything, but uh, he could come down and what do you want to do? You want to buy a telescope. Uh, you want to play chess, so we're going to let you play chess when you get up. So go ahead and practice chess. All right, you're going to be sleeping a while. I don't know why we're freezing all the time like this. It's annoying, but hopefully it calms down a little bit. I did just open my game too, so that might be a factor to it all. I do want to get them moved, and I want to see, after Jenny finishes, I want to see if we are able to move or not now. I don't think we were able to at the end of the uh, episode, but hopefully we can, because, oh, I'm getting stressed if we have to live in this house any longer. It's just not big enough for us all. And the other one, I already fixed it up, so it will be big enough. So, I'm hoping it's big enough. I really am. All right. It looks like Persephone is getting up. How much longer are you going to be in the shower? Because she's about to get up. Alright, hold up on all this. You need to do anything for work? Do you need to read that book? No, you've already read it. Okay, good. You need to go to Egypt. We're not going to Egypt. I'm sorry, but we're not. Oh, who died? I don't even know who that is. Why are you mourning? Oh, you witnessed the death. I remember now. All right. 
come in here and use this. Go ahead and shower. Go ahead and eat the leftover lemon pancakes. And then I'm going to let you take care of your son. Girls, come on. You're going to come over. You're going to change diaper. You're going to change an outfit to an everyday outfit. You're going to go ahead and snuggle this child. And then you're going to go ahead and feed him in the high chair. Ginny, I'm going to do the same thing with you with this baby. So go ahead and change a diaper. Go ahead and change this outfit to us every day. Go ahead and snuggle this child. And then go ahead and feed him in the high chair. And that should be good. All right, you don't really need to wash your hands, so let's get you back in the shower. Today's Tristan's birthday. Thank goodness. All right, Kenny, you're the one with the resort thing? Yes. All right, so we just made 1,245 simoleons, which is good. Getting us in the right direction of where he needs to be, hopefully. You want to have another child with Harley? Oh, Billy Basili. I don't know if I want to have any more kids. I'm being honest. You want to go scuba diving as well, so we're going to take you out as well. All right. I'm going to move everyone with us. We're going to sell this furniture. It's 73, I know it is, so we're not quite there yet. But we did just get some money, so that'll help. All right, so let's get you to take care of your son, and then we'll move on. You want to buy a hot tub, lady? How many kids do you want to have? You're not family oriented, are you? I don't think you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Why did I make you family oriented when we're living on a boat? Oh, Billy. All right. You'll be okay. Yeah. Get into the shower. Get into the shower. Goodness, these people. They'll drive you bonkers around here. Alright, did you potty train him? Oh, I don't want a stupid view of the plant. No, before you feed him in the high chair, why don't you potty train him? Then feed him in the high chair. That way you get all of his needs taken care of. Plus you're teaching him what he needs to learn. And we'll get all this done. Tristan, are you almost up? Yeah, you'll be fine. You do need the bathroom really bad, so maybe I'll like, have your mom let you out instead of putting you in the high chair to eat. All right. Finally, he's potty trained. Goodness gracious. All right. Oh, Sebastian, how much else do you need? And I want to age this kid up as soon as possible, which is today, thank goodness. Are you hitting on your brother? Because that was weird. And plus, I haven't really been keeping relationships high. If you look at her and her brother, he's like the bottom. It's so bad. And his wife is the bottom, too. That is horrible. All right, anyways, feed your son in the high chair. Everyone's eating, which is good. Are you about to get up or what? Are there more pancakes? Yes, there is. Okay, perfect. Oh, stop it. Just go take care of your boy. All right. Give him some food. And then I'll get you to empty this. All right. Did you pee yourself? No, you're just hungry. Okay. Did you pee yourself? No. You're fine. You're fine. Um. I think this is to me. Alright, Kenny. I have something I need to do with you. So we're going to go up here. We have not been over here to this resort and looked at the resort reviews. So, let's see. 
This might sound crazy, but I will always stay at this resort just for their food stand. There is no better snacking to be found on any vacation. My friends, check it out. I suggest that you add dim sum to your buffet menu. Okay, so we got to do that. The pool area at this resort was the main reason we decided to book our vacation here. I own my own restaurant, so I'm extremely picky about food. Guess I'm just too used to gourmet, laugh aloud. Somehow this little food stand has the best vacation food in the world other than that, other than my restaurant. Great choice on serving sushi at the buffet. The gym area here is the perfect place to work though, through some stress so you can enjoy the rest of your vacation. Definitely staying here again. This is what vacation is all about, having some someone bring food right to your room. I'm not sure what they put in the food, but it was delicious, and there was plenty of food choices for my kids to pick from. Great job. All right, so we just need to add a dim sum buffet, and then everyone will be happy. So let's jump in here, and let's go into buy mode. And I know we're trying to save for the house, but this is also going to bring in more money for us. So we kind of do need to get this done. All right, so as you know, this is our little pool area. Nothing too spectacular about it, but it's fine. It works. All right, so over here, down here, down, down, down. All right, so we've got, what is this? I think this is dinner. I think this is lunch, breakfast, sushi. I guess we don't have any dim sum, do we? All right, fine. Put this table in the center of it all. Grab another one. And let's put it right here. All right, so let's do set the food quality to high and set the food type to dim sum. There we go. So how many tables do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means there's only one more, and I need to figure out what it is. So let me just buy another one. And what is it? That's the hard thing. you got to be able to figure that out. Um, okay, let's put this here. Did you get it? I want to put just a couple more chairs around that. And I do want to put in another table. We're not going to spend much money over here. That's why we're just doing it pretty quickly. Anyways, I hope this isn't a ton of money. I don't think it is. Alright, so let's see. Set this. Alright, what's this food type? That's dinner. Lunch. That's not what I wanted. Breakfast. Okay, so we've got the three meals. This is sushi, obviously. This is vegetarian. I think this is dessert. Then we've got kids. So what are we still missing? We've already got that, that, that. We've got sushi, got dim sum, vegetarian, dessert, and kids. Wait, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's only eight types. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of this. All right, there we go. And then we're going to take these chairs, and we're also going to pull a couple more over here. Okay, there we go. And can we move this back a little bit so we could add another chair or no? No, I guess not. Fine, whatever. That's enough eating for this place anyways. All right, so there's a gym here. There's the wedding arch up here, which is nice. They've got the seats to sit on. Okay, so we've got that all done. Um, I do want to keep continuing to change the color of the outside of this place. Why don't you pick that up? But um, I'm not going to. Uh, what else could you do for a resort? I know you can go in here and resorts. All right, so they've got the gym equipment. Oh, we could add a bar. Where would I put that, though? Honestly, instead of having this, I should just open this up and make it the bar. I really should. So I may do that. I may just delete what's in here. All right. I don't think we need any of it. All 
All right, and then let's add the bar in here. All right, hold on. This stupid garbage can. Don't really know what we need a garbage can for, but that's all right. All right, and then let's just, can you recolor this? Yes, you can. Okay. We're going to pull it onto here. Really, I should pull this so it's facing out, but I will. Just hold on. All right, it's just thinking. It's loading up all the patterns, and then it'll change over. All right, is that how we wanted it? No, probably not. All right, put this up here. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to go in here. The nose is running. Okay, grab this again. Pull this on here. What I want to do is I want to put it on the third one down. All right, there we go. See, now it looks like the other one. Okay, good. That's good. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to pull this table. And I'm going to put it out here. Not really sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'll figure it out in a second. All right. Go ahead and put this here. Can you put this in here or no? You might have to do this. You might have to put the tables like or the chairs like this. I guess not. Whatever. Just put it here. Put this in the corner. All right. So we've got a bar. What else can we do? We already got a firework pit, I believe. Yep, it's over there. We've got our wedding arches. We've got a hot tub. Um, we've got the grand buffets. We've got a diving board. We've got the bungalow thing over here. We don't have a waterfall on this, so we could add one of those. I'm just looking to get it to a five-star resort. All right. Now let's color it to match this. There we go. All right, perfect. Now it matches. We'll have to turn that on. All right, so zooming on down, what else is in here? We've already got this little stand. We've got one of these food stands over here. This is what they keep saying. It's just so perfect. This little thing, it's a food stand. It's just not the more expensive one because this is the more expensive one. We've already got the waterfalls. We've got a slide. We've already got one of these. And we've got a pool bar. So I think we've got pretty much all the amenities that we need. Um, I think everything is good. And what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to pull it onto this. And I also want to pull it onto this. And I might even get rid of this. I'm not decided yet. I might get rid of it. All right, so that's it. The only other thing I think we could do for the resort is really just color the walls, possibly add on a couple more of these VIP sections. But other than that, I think everything else is fine. So we can go back into our live mode. All right, now I do want to go in here, and I want to see if you go to resort management and look at the resort reviews, we're still not a five star. I don't know if maybe you have to wait a little while before it goes up or what, but um, okay. Anyways, I think we might have to hire someone for this. So let's see. Um, hire a new employee. We'll do Dina Munez. Do we need to do anything for this? No. Do we need to hire anyone for this? Yeah. Go ahead and do Cheryl Wes. So we've got someone working there. And then let's see. Is there someone here? Do Craig Beam. I don't see anyone working over there, so I'm not really sure what's going on. All right. And I do want to put this away. All right. Guess not. Um. All right, I do want to check how many employees we have working here, so let me just go in here and see. Uh, let's see. All right, manage the maintenance crew. We're going to go with three of these. We may not need all three of them, but that's okay. All right. 
so that's good. I think he's pretty much got this taken care of. I'm going to come o let him come over here, and he's going to do what he wants to do. I'm going to let him go ahead and slide down the slide. And we need to turn the water on for this. So, oh, it's already on. Okay. So, there we go. That's our little resort. It's not perfect, but that's okay. And that's fine. All right. So, as you can see, oh, I wanted to also see something. Hold on a second. Go back into this and resort management. I want to look at the resort finances. We're making over 3,000 simoleons and we're only putting out about 1,565. So that's pretty good. We do need, I think, to still chlorinate the pool. I think. I'm not really sure. Anyways, but we're full for people, so that's good too. All right, let's see. Can you, do you need to chlorinate this? No, it is chlorinated, so we're good. We are good. All right, who are you, lady, person? Stevie Yanez. All right, Stevie, you go ahead and just, you know, relax, have a good time. So I think we've got a pretty nice resort going on here, and we've got plenty of things for them all to do. And there's a little dog. <laughs> Anyways, all right, he's coming on over. She's taking care of her son. All right, hold on. I want you to put him down because he needs to pee. I think he does anyways. <laughs> I think he does. Yeah, he really needs to pee. All right, put this poor child down. Man, put down Tristan. All right, why don't you go ahead and let this kid out? Or do you need to teach him something? You probably need to teach him something. Why don't you teach him to talk? Harley, let's go, buddy. We got things we got to do with you today. They're already set in stone, so you better hurry. All right, before you go out and play chess, let me go ahead and let you go to the bathroom. Or get something to eat. Tristan, use the potty chair, please. All right, Dash. Oh, Billy. Eat some pancakes and then come out and play chess. All right, I think everyone's taken care of except for good old Harley here. Oh, Harley. Now you need to fix it. Or we could have Percy fix it, but that's okay. Alright, are you going? Yes. Why don't you just go here for a second? Man. Fadiki. Alright. I want to be out of here at least by 1 o'clock. I'd like to be out of here and doing what we need to do. But, man, it's taking him forever. And I do know what I want to do before we go out. All right, I want you to feed Tristan in the high chair. Oh, you need to attend the free game. So then when you're done with that, then you can come home and play, practice chess if you want. All right, feed your son. Harley, get out of the shower. <laughs> it's a never-ending spiel of arguing with these people. You just went swimming. Good for you, buddy. All right. Did you give him something to eat? Yes, you did. All right, let's get you over here to unclog the toilet. Neb-neb? Neb-neb? How many times are we going to say neb-neb before we figure it out? All right, so Kenny... You're swimming. Having a good old time. Okay. Are you eating? Alright, when you're done, let your son out. Then go ahead and clean the house. Alright, Cam is now an adult. Oh, Cam, you're aging quickly on me. Alright, Harley. Alright, you just repaired the toilet. Good for you. Oh, this is going to take forever. And she just got her handiness skill up to level 3. 
That's good. All right, let's see. Dash, you're not eating, so whatever. When you get out of there, I'll let you come over here. You can eat. By that time, you might as well just eat the key lime pie, and then I'm going to let you practice chess. Please tell me you're letting your son out so he can take care of himself. Frickle Nurk. Alright, if you would just hurry up. Alright, good. He's done. He's ready to go. First off, you're going to go ahead and you're going to call. And you're going to take five days unpaid time off. So you go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to send you over here to Hobart's Hideaway, which I want to call this something else. So let me just do this quickly. Um, nope, not that. I want to go in here and I want to view the resort views. And I want to change this to, not Hobart's, but Kenny's Hideaway. That way it's his resort. Um, he just learned how to talk. Okay, good. Jump on down here with him. I thought I said you were done. Why don't you empty the potty? Alright, so you just taught him to talk. Alright, Ginny, you just taught him to talk. That's fine. All right, and then I'm going to let you watch some TV. And I'm going to let your son come over here and play with his xylophone. Um, you're going to watch TV, I guess. I don't know. You're cleaning house. All right, we're going with you, Harley. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn high free will on so these people will do things on their own. They can figure out what they need to do on their own. And we're just going to focus on Harley today. And we're going to take Kenny over scuba diving hopefully today later. Well, not too much later. Probably like in a little bit, bit when we take Harley over. Alright, Harley, before you get all the way over there, I want you to go over here and I want you to purchase a vehicle. Let's purchase the Aqua Sled. Let's go ahead and buy that. Alright. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go up here, and I do want you to visit Kenny's Hideaway. And we're going to drop over to Kenny because I think I put a mooring post over here. I think. Maybe I didn't. Alright, that's another thing I need to add to this resort is a mooring post because he needs to be able to do what he wants to do. Alright, fine. Go back up into map view. You can purchase it really from anywhere and it'll just, you know, show up, but I was hoping we already had one. Okay, I don't think you have an aqua sled light, right? No. Alright, purchase the aqua sled. You boys are going to be the only ones that really get one, and you'll have to share with your significant others if they want one. Alright, Kenny, or Harley, let's get you over here. That little house is cute, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're getting bumped up here because of the hills and things that are really close. Alright, don't forget your aqua sled. Thank you. Alright. Kenny, you've got one too, I think. Yeah, it's still in there. You've also got this really cheap car, which I don't really care about. Kenny, you're just getting athletics everywhere, aren't you? Alright. They should be doing what they want to do. I really don't care what they do, to be honest with you. I just want to get these guys going on what they need to do. And then I'll be happy. Alright, so we've, we're over here now. I want you to come over here. Who's this lady? Marisol. And I want you to ask about adventure. Uh, no. Oh. 
Is this the lady that I'm hired? I hired. All right. So it says the old sim in the secret island. Oh, so it's adventure you want. Well then, why are you hanging in the lobby? You could be out searching for a secret island that only few have glimpsed. If you seek the unknown, talk to as as Lara Torres. As Lara Torres will set you on your way. All right, so we're going to go talk about the refuge island with her. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Is she here? She might be here. No, I don't think she's here. Oh, and your umbrella is broken. We got to get you a new one. Okay. This is a really pretty world. If it didn't have the lag, I would feel better about it. But the lag doesn't kill me too much. That's why I haven't quit playing yet. So, alright. Relations between Latasha, Chen, and Harlan Stu Stubbs have turned sour. Alright, that's fine. But look how pretty it is out here. It's so pretty. The reason I got him this is because he's going to be traveling a lot now on the waters. So I want to make sure that he has a way to get around pretty quickly. And I think he does. I think this is a pretty good one. Alright. We've got lots of pretty stuff to look at around here. At the beginning of this LP it was all about diving and then I kind of lost touch with it. So we're back into doing what we need to do. Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? All right, buddy. Just going to check that he keeps taking it cuz sometimes they forget. All right, so let's get over here. Uh, sure, you could do that. I'm not going to do it right now, but we could do it. All right, so this is her. She's a four-star celebrity. Oh boy. <clears throat> You gotta befriend her then. Okay. So, greet the celebrity. This little boy is a two star celebrity. Oh my goodness. Greeting her was bad. Alright, try and impress her. Talk about your occupation as a art appraiser. Alright. Talk about wealth. Talk about your cooking skill. Talk about your social networking skill. I don't know. I don't really think you got a social networking skill, but that's all right. They're on high free will, and she's not taking care of herself, so that's not my fault. Come on, stop doing that. All right, we're getting close. We are getting close. Okay. This might do it right here. She liked that. Alright, there we go. So let's be friendly. Wow, that scared me. Ask about her career. Ask about her degree. I think like everyone that you don't control gets a good degree. Ask about her alma mater. Chat. What was that? Alright, he just impressed her. Okay. They can now socialize with each other. Okay. Alright. What was that one? Oh, chat with her. Enthused about the outdoors. I don't know if she likes them, but it's worth a try. Get to know her. Uh, 
Um, let's see, what else? Uh, give her I5. Oh, she's a hobbyist. Okay. Um, play the rock, paper, scissors game with her. Uh, Shaka Bra. Uh, no, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright. That should take care of it. Alright, so she must be taking care of herself Porsche. because Jubaz. she's doing things on her own. You can go home if you want. Alright, he found that she has the fine arts degree. Alright, and she's in the busker career. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Okay. It's getting late, but that's okay. Oh, it's birthday time. Alright, I'm just going to make sure that he keeps doing that. Alright. Tristan, age on up so we can get rid of some of this baby stuff. And he's almost ready to level up that. All right. All right, here he goes. He's aging up, and he's now a child. Uh, due to our excellent parenting skills, we can choose a trait for Tristan to develop. I would really like him to get one of the Island Paradise ones, so I was thinking we could go with Sailor. Alright, and Tristan, I need to get you in there to change your looks. So why don't you go ahead and change your appearance and plan your outfit for a second. Where are you going, Sebastian? Oh, you need to use the bathroom. Okay. Alright, she's proud that Tristan became a child. Alright, All right, I'm jumping back over to him. We're probably going to get pulled into... Uh, why do you got... You look like Tristan now? Okay. You say so. Uh, talk about, or, yeah. Take a cell phone photo. No. I don't want you to do that. I did not tell him to do that. I know I did not tell him to do that. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to mind when I see his eyebrows. What happened to your eyebrows, little man? What happened to your eyebrows? Could you take these ones, please? Oh, that's much better. That is much better. You look a lot like your dad. Yes, you do. All right, match it. And I want to give you some different hair. We're going to try and go with Isla Paradiso. This is not Isla Paradiso. I think the only one that came with Isla Paradiso is in here. Maybe not. Maybe they didn't get any. <laughs> okay, I guess they didn't get any hair for Isla Paradiso. Okay. So then... Let's see, we're going to go with this hair, maybe? I think you need longer hair. That's cute. We'll go with that. Alright, so we're going to go with that, and you're not going to get makeup because you're perfectly fine the way you are. I'm hoping he grows into his looks a bit more as he ages up because his dad is quite the hunk, but... All right, so Harley, you don't look like him anymore. All right, Shaka Bra. Um, you need to apologize, I guess. Oh, she's charismatic. Oh, Billy. Here we go into Create a Sim again. And this is to do his clothes. All right, and that's fine. Let's see. You used the potty? That's good. All right, so for clothes... I think there might have been stuff that came. Yeah, there was. I remember now. I remember now. All right, we're going to give you something from Isla Paradiso, or Island Paradise, LP. Expand your pack. Man, I can't talk. All right, we could give you something that's blue. We could give you something that's brown. I like that one on you, actually, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. All right, Um, we do have these, but I don't really like them. I don't know why, I just... I don't really like them very much. But I'm going to try and see if I can like any of them. You know what? We'll go with that. I know it's not the best pair of shorts, but that's okay. 
And then, obviously, I want to give them flip-flops because we're living on an island. Let's be honest. We should be wearing flip-flops. All right, we're going to give you these ones. Okay. For formal wear, I don't believe anything came for formal wear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to outfits for formal wear. And hopefully, I can just pick something pretty quickly. So why don't you go ahead and you wear this. And then I'll give you the little shoes that you could go with it. And those shoes would be this. All right, sleepwear, no shoes on your feet. That's good. The little shorts that you have on are fine. Let's just go ahead and take off your shirt. Athletics, let's see what you've got. Man, you are tan. All right, well, I don't really think that's an athletic -y kind of outfit, but you could wear this. That you could wear for athletics. That's fine with me. I don't really care. I don't think you're going to be working out very much, but that's all right. All right, so you want little flippers? Oh, oh man. I don't really want you to have flippers, but I guess. We're going to go with that. Um, I think there's gray shorts, actually, that I think would work better. And I guess you could have flippers. I don't really know if you need them, but I'll let you keep them. You don't have a career. Oh, boy. If that was a career outfit, I'd be scared. All right. Outerwear. Your pants and your shoes are okay. Let's just give you a different shirt. I don't really like that one. Uh, we'll give you this. Yeah. And then I'm going to take those gloves and I'm going to take them off of you or give you yellow ones. Either or would work fine for me. There we go. You're ready to go. You are ready to go, buddy. You can do what you want to do now. Because you're a big boy now. Phew. We had to raise how many kids? Oh, I've got a friend request. Hold on. This is from Pedro Cantz. All right, so let's go ahead and accept this, and thank you so much. Uh, where is this lady going? Lady, we're trying to talk to you here, buddy. Why don't you go ahead and use the bathroom instead of answering your phone? Clean? Oh, I was like, clean him. Uh, no, Harley Gold, we do not want to go on a date. Sorry, friend. I thought it was this Harley at first asking, and I was like, what is going on? Lady, you're a zombie and you're playing in the ocean. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Where'd this old lady go? Oh, she went to the bathroom. She had to go to the bathroom. All right, I guess. That person just moonwalked there. Moonwalked forward instead of backwards. Anyways, I think this is gender-coded, so he's not going to be able to get to her. And he's going to throw a fit. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to call her over. I'm trying to click on her feet from underneath the door. It's so creepy. But it's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to do these things. Can you call her over? I don't think you can. Alright, Russ, you're now an elder. Buddy, why don't you just go here? Let this lady come out of the bathroom. Is this lady gonna come out of the bathroom? Well, if you would go to the bathroom, you wouldn't have peed yourself. Why can you not call her over? Get to know her. Lady, get out of the bathroom! <sighs> Come on. Pause. Don't go anywhere. Alright, be friendly. Go ahead and compliment her on her degree. Not that it really matters, but just do it. Get to know her. Uh, gossip with her. Give her a high five. Play rock, paper, scissors. Shaka bra. Share a secret. Sh 
show off new gizmo. What? Oh, stop. Can you do any of this? Did you just cancel out of everything I just clicked? Oh, goodness. Make a silly face. Are you going to get any of this done or are we going to have to go home? Because I really wanted to get some of this done, but I mean, come on. Alright, fine. Go to the bathroom. Percy, stop reading bedtime stories to kids. Get up out of that bed. You want to improve your logic skill? You can do that. Why don't you go ahead and play chess until your skill improves? That way you get it done. Alright. It looks like Kenny's taking care of the baby. That's fine. Alright, Harley, can you talk to her yet? Why don't you be... friendly? And be funny. Why can't you not do this? Why don't you greet her? You gotta go outside. She can't get there. Go outside. Oh my goodness. Harley, I'm trying to work with you here. Get out the door. I tried her where? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and greet her. Come on, guys. Why can you not do this? Go here. Then greet her. Yeah, lady, come and talk to us. Oh, finally, I think we're going to actually get to talk to her for once. Alright, be friendly. Chat with her. Go ahead and enthuse about the outdoors. Get to know her. Go ahead and gossip. Give her a high five. Play rock, paper, scissors. Oh, there's a ghost. That's fantastic. Shaka bra. Uh, let's see. Share a secret. Alright. Hopefully that gets us there. Alright, so what does it say? A Coney Lodkahal is getting pretty old and won't live forever. Alright, fine. She's a loner. Oh boy. Guys, can you guys get along, please? Please. I'm asking you nicely. Apologize. Why don't you be funny? Make a silly face. Is she taking care of herself? No, stop. Alright, so make a silly face. Go ahead and tell her a funny story. Alright, let's see. Um, go ahead and... Let's see. I think after that you should be good. I hope. Last week I dreamt I was a baby again. Oh, that's the first I'm hearing of that. Uh-huh. Are you going to go to bed? Oh, you are in bed. Okay. Alright. Will she do this now? 
Wow, that was quite the sneezes. Finally. Alright, it says, Kelp, I need some. Ah, uh, maybe I know about that which you speak, and maybe I don't. Maybe the refuge exists, and maybe it doesn't. Are you a true ally to this archaeopelago? If so, I have an ecologist friend that needs help. So what we need to do is we need to go and get three kelp to deliver to her. But first, we're going to go home because he is hungry. Get up. I guess I can't let you guys do... This is why I don't like free well, because they don't take care of themselves very well. Alright, first off, you need to eat some pumpkin pie. You need to use the bathroom. You need at least need a shower. And then you need to go to sleep. Harley, when you get here, you go ahead and eat the key lime pie, and then I'm going to let you go to sleep. And I'm going to delete this crib because we don't need it anymore. Come on. Stop freaking dilly-dallying. All right. You can go to sleep when you get done. All right. Let's go in here. We're not having any more kids, I don't believe, so I think we're good. And I'm going to put this in the center of the wall. I think that has a mirror. No, it doesn't. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in here, I'm going to put it in this corner. Alright. These guys have fully raised their child, the rest of us have not. <laughs> it's so bad. Alright. So we've gotten rid of that crib, we're tired of having babies, we're ready for everyone to be aged up and ready to move out. <laughs> Alright, you're doing exactly what you need to do, you're doing exactly what you need to do, you're doing exactly what you need to do, and where are you at? All right, it looks like everyone is doing what they need to be doing. Perfect. And you're sleeping. Good. All right, guys, well, my time is up. I was just trying to get this going. We need to get the three kelp in the end next episode, but at least I feel better because I know we're back into the actual... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do all this, buddy, we need to accept gifts because I know we've got some. So why don't you go ahead and get the mail, accept gifts, and then I'll end the episode. How about that? And when you're done, go ahead and come over here and eat key lime pie. And then I'll let you sleep. Who's up? <laughs> I just heard someone yawning. Oh, he's outside. He's a zombie. Alright, that's fine. Do you have to work tomorrow? No. So, you know what? Before you go to bed, I want you to empty this potty because it's disgusting. Oh, and now we're frozen. How could I have guessed? Alright. Oh, Cam, now you're an elder. I thought you just reached... I'm so confused. It told me he just came an adult. Now he's an elder. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Get that. Alright, so there is only none. Okay, there's no, there's actually no gifts. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. In the next one, we're going to continue on with Harley. We're going to get the three kelp, and we're going to continue on with this adventure. And uh, we're going to keep trying to get as him diving as much as possible and get the islands um, let me get, let me know how you guys feel about possibly resetting some ages, um, cause I can do it with my mod, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to use cheats or anything. I could possibly reset them to the beginning of their adulthoods and just give these guys like 10 days in or something, so let me know what you guys think. I really would like to be able to finish their lifetime wishes for them, um, but it depends on what you guys think about the age thing. So, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, thanks so much for watching.